In this lesson, we're going to solve dependent systems of equations by the elimination method. We're also going to learn how to write the solution set with x or y arbitrary. In this example, we're asked to solve the system. We're going to solve it using the elimination method, also known as the addition method. And I'm sure it got its name because of the fact is you can't solve for both X and Y at the same time. So you have to eliminate one in order to solve for the other. In terms of which one should you eliminate? Well, you should take a look at your equations. Look for a variable that has a coefficient of one or negative one. In other words, a variable that's by itself because those would be easiest to eliminate. In these uh, equations that you have here, if you take a look at equation number one, it would be your y value. Your y value has a coefficient of negative one, which means that uh, it would be easiest to uh, multiply the top of the equation by a number which would produce the additive inverse of negative 2y. So what we have here is negative y on top and on bottom we have uh, negative 2y. And so I want to know uh, what would we need to multiply uh, that top equation with in order to uh, produce uh, a zero in order to for that to cancel out. So think about it. If you said negative two, then you are correct because if we multiply by negative two, what we wind up getting is a positive two. Why? Because a negative times a negative is a positive. And combine that with a negative 2y on the bottom, our variable does cancel out to 0. Now, you can't just multiply uh, the middle term by uh, negative 2 without multiplying it to the others because you know what the rules of equation says. Uh, whatever you do to uh, one of the terms in that equations, you have to do to all the terms that are there. So let's go ahead and multiply the top equation by negative 2 and distribute that to each term. Once we rewrite our first equation we can go ahead and add the equations. We're not going to do anything to the second equation. Now take a look at our equations. Uh, notice our x's cancel out. They're opposites of each other. They're gone. So are the y's. And on the right side of the equations, our constants cancel out as well. Now when they cancel, they cancel to zero. So the left side equals zero and the right side equals zero. So let's read this statement we're left with. Z zero is equal to zero. Is zero equal to zero? Yes, it is. Zero is the same as zero. So that left us with a, a true statement. So when the variables cancel, and leave us with a true statement, then the answer to the system is infinite many solutions. The solution set is the set of all points on the line of the equation. Now, I'm good with you expressing your solution to uh, systems in which the variables cancel and leave you with a true statement as simply infinite many solutions. However, the solution to a system 
uh, that has infinite many solutions can also be written with an arbitrary variable, either x or y. So let me go over a, a brief summary of that. The solution set with x arbitrary, you're going to take one of the equations. Now, it doesn't matter which one you take because both equations are the same. You're going to take one and solve for y. And that result, you're going to plug it in uh, into y's place. You'll have an x for the um, x of the ordered pair. And then for the y, you'll have the equation that you solved for y. <clears throat> the solution to the y arbitrary, um, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to solve for x. And then that result, you're going to plug in in x's place. And then you'll have a y in y's place. And now that we've solved the system, let's write the solution set with x arbitrary. Recall that if you're going to write the solution set with x arbitrary, that means you're going to solve for y. And then you're going to take that result and plug it in y's place of your ordered pair. So let's take one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one you choose. They're both the same. So I'm going to start uh, with equation number one by uh, subtracting 4x from each side. Now the variable that we're solving for cannot be negative. So let's go ahead and either multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1 or divide by negative 1 so that the variable will be positive. And our equation then would be y equals 4x plus 2. So since y equals 4x plus 2, we're going to take that 4x plus 2 and plug it in in y's place. So we are simply stating that all ordered pairs satisfying x and 4x plus 2 will be the solution set for this system. It can also be written uh, as what you see here to the right. So this pair here is such that x is uh, any real number. Let's do another one. We're going to uh, solve this system by the elimination method. So step one, take a look at your equations and see if there is a variable by itself or one that has a coefficient of one or negative one because they're, they are the easiest to eliminate. Since we don't have that, we have to just decide uh, whether we're gonna eliminate X or Y. And I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate the X's. It really doesn't matter which one. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at the nine X and the three X. So we have uh, 9x on top, and we have 3x on the bottom, and I want that to cancel out. So I want you to think for a moment, what would I need to do to either of the equations in order for that to happen? Now. If you said that we need to multiply by uh, negative 3 in the second equation, then you're correct. Because notice we have 9x on top. If I multiply by 3, I will have 9x on the bottom. But we don't want the same value. We want uh, opposite or additive inverses. So we would need to put, multiply the bottom by negative 3. In doing so, that would give us negative 9x on the bottom. We have 9x on the top. And then our x's will cancel out. So again, we have to multiply equation number 2 by negative 3. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Give me a moment to erase the screen. So recall that we need to distribute that negative 3 to each term of equation number 2. That's going to give us a new equation for equation number 2. We're not going to do anything to equation number 1. Let's go ahead and combine our equations. Notice that each column canceled out to 0. Our x is canceled, our y canceled, and so did our constants. When the variables cancel out and leave you with a true statement because 0 is equal to 0, then there are infinite many solutions. The solution set is the set of all points on the line of the equation. And now that we've solved the system, let's write the solution set with y arbitrary. Recall if you're going to write the solution set with y arbitrary, that means you're going to solve for x and plug that result in x's place of your solution set. So let's take one of the equations and go ahead and solve for x. I'm going to take the second one this time. Uh, so the first step towards solving for x is to subtract 5y from each side. Lastly, I'm going to divide by 3. And as you can see, x equals negative 5y minus 2 over 3. We're going to take what x equal and we're going to plug it uh, in x's place of our solution set. And there you have it. And now let's take that same system and write the solution set with x arbitrary. Now recall if you're going to write the solution set with x arbitrary, you're going to solve for y. And then you're going to place that result into your solution set in y's place. So again, let's take one of the equations, but this time we're going to solve for y instead. So to do that, we need to subtract 3x from each side, divide by 5, and y equals negative 3x minus 2 over 5. And since that equals y, we're going to plug that in in y's place of our solution set. And there you have it. Okay, so just a recap or summary of what we covered. Uh, there are two special cases uh, with uh, systems of equations. When the variables cancel and leave you with a true statement, then there are infinite many solutions. Again, when the variables cancel out and leave you with a true statement, then there are infinite many solutions. Now the second case, which was not covered in this video, uh, is when the variables cancel out and leave you with a false statement, then there's no solution to such systems. And that is covered in another video. I'll place the link to that uh, down below. Uh, but just note for uh, dependent systems where there are infinite many solutions, you can also express the solution set uh, with x or y arbitrary. So if you're going to uh, express it as x arbitrary, remember you have to solve for y and then insert uh, that result in uh, y's place. And then you do the opposite when you want to uh, express the solution set with y arbitrary. You're going to solve for x and then insert that result uh, into x's place of the solution set. And there you have it. 
Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Math Videos on PowerPoint with Dr. Space. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.